Good day. Thank you so much for joining us once more on this channel. Today, we will be learning about how to find the fraction of a set. How to find the fraction of a set or group. All right. So in this presentation, I am going to be using hearts. I hope you love hearts. Hearts give love. The first thing I want you to do is to read the word problem. There are 12 hearts. What is half of this number? If there are 12 hearts, what is half of this number? The first thing that I want you to do is to identify or to find the fraction and in this word problem the fraction is one half then we identify the whole number and the whole number is 12 or 12 hearts after at this point you must be able to use the fraction and the whole number to formulate a word problem. How do you do this? You write 1 half of 12 equals, and we don't know, this is why I put the question mark. We are in the process of finding out how to do that. As we continue, the next step would be to identify or to to observe what number is in the denominator. The denominator is the bottom number of the fraction. In this case, since it's one half, we see that the denominator is two. So this indicates or this would tell us that we must form or draw two sets or two groups. So at this point, you should advise or direct the student to draw two circles, which represents groups or sets. One, two. After, the student must look at the whole number, which is 12 or 12 hearts. These hearts must be equally. Notice I place the stress or the emphasis on the word equally. These 12 hearts must be equally divided into two groups or two sets. So I do this by placing the number of hearts into the sets equally or the groups equally. So I go, follow closely, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Voila. What do you see? You see the 12 hearts are shared equally into the two groups. And we, what we can see is that we have the same number of hearts in each group. So now at this point, we want to go to the numerator, which is the top number of the fraction. This would tell us how many groups we are to select. In this case, since we are dealing with one half, we are to select one group so i am now going to select this group after you have selected the group i want you to count the number of objects that you have within that group in this case we have let's count one two three four five six we have six hearts in this one group so the answer what is half of 12? The answer, half of 12 is equal to 6. In this case, we must put the unit 6 hearts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Please give a thumbs up and also remember to share and subscribe. Please share this video. Thank you for watching.